Hello everyone, my name is James and this is Real Biased Gaming. The Way is a side-scrolling platformer puzzle game with a detailed, pixelated art style set in a future with space travel, alien life, cryo-freezing, and possibly technology to bring the dead back to life. The game was kickstarted and released May of 2016, so it's actually a fairly recent game. To let you know, I will not be spoiling the game's story in any way, though you will hear some biased opinions on aspects of the game and the story. There will be no plot spoilers in this video, so watch on in peace. To be completely honest, I am a real sucker for the pixelated art style in this game. Seriously, that and the depressing and somber start of the game were the only reasons I picked it up, and that's enough for me usually for a game. I knew nothing about it going into it, except that. I was hoping for some text-based story-driven adventure game, maybe even an RPG of sorts. I was not expecting one of the most difficult puzzle games I have ever played, and I hate puzzle games. But, but, it had, it had that thing, that spark that little something about it that kept pulling me forward. You see, for me, that special thing about puzzle games is that... Well, it's that I hate them. Right up until I find that one that I absolutely love. Limbo was that way for me, and it is now forever in my top five games of all time. The way isn't in my top five, but the exact same thing did happen. I played it, I was frustrated, and somehow through that feeling came this love this enjoyment of this game. There is enough of a story here to really give weight and even a sense of urgency to solving the puzzles. There's enough pacing to the game to keep you thinking, if you could just solve this next piece, some mystery will be revealed or explained. The story is both sad and hopeful, beautiful and troubling. The game starts at the main menu, where a man is at his wife's grave. He digs her up, brings her back to his apartment, freezes her in some kind of cryo chamber, and begins his dangerous, and illegal, attempt to find ancient clues in an old research facility in a far-off planet. The quest is one that spans millions of miles, many years, as this man searches for a way to bring his wife back to life. And this is why I love this game, because by themselves, puzzles and platformers, they're just no fun. Zero fun, sir. But encased in a mystery, in a man's struggle against death, when surrounded by what are, in my opinion, some very beautiful visuals, especially in the cutscenes, even I lose track of how frustrating playing a puzzle game is, and I just lose myself in playing a great game. Now, I can't sugarcoat it too much. The puzzles in this game are hard. You will get frustrated. You will think people are out to get you. You will think some parts of these puzzles are designed to just get you stuck and that's the end of the game. Some puzzles my brain figured out very quickly, but others, I had to leave and come back several days, maybe even a week or two later, before I could really wrap my head around a puzzle and be able to move on. Keep in mind that puzzles and platforming with a minimal amount of side-scrolling shooter is the extent of the gameplay mechanics in the way. As for a verdict, I say you should absolutely play this game. If you've never played a puzzle platformer game, then I encourage you to do so even more, as it is one of the more full experiences that the genre has to offer. There will be some frustrating moments, and you may need to put the game aside and come back to it later to keep it fresh and enjoyable, but the ending makes the satisfaction of getting there make this game worth the price and more. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. Also check the links below for my live stream, I stream on Saturdays. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below as I would love to hear them if you've played this game or if you think maybe the genre has other offerings that may be better, worse. Love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching everyone. Once again, my name is James and this is Real Biased Gaming. <laughs>